Cause I, I, I'm being a star tonight. Oh, so watch me be the first, set the night alight. Oh, sh Hi guys. Today's video is a little different from the content that you usually see on my channel. And that is because I usually make videos like these for teachers, but today I am making videos for English learners or students, okay? So today's lesson is gonna be really fun. I did my best to prepare this lesson to make it as fun as possible. But as you can see, based on the title, we are going to be listening to BTS's Dynamite and seeing what kind of English idioms and phrases we can learn from it to help improve your English, okay? So let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome to the first lesson of Improve Your English with Music. Today's lesson is going to be a quick 10 minute lesson and it is made for intermediate level learners, but I welcome all to continue to watch this video because not only will this song help to improve your English, but it will also help to improve your mood. Okay, so, Let's get right into it. Cause I, I, I'm in the stars tonight. So watch me bring the fire, set the night light. My shoes on, get up in the moon, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. The first phrase that we are going to be talking about today is rock and roll many times when you hear the phrase rock and roll and it has to do with music you may be thinking of the very popular music genre of rock where you hear a lot of guitars and a lot of vocals but this phrase here is talking about a way to express that you are ready to start or begin something for example, if Eric wants to tell his friends that it is time to start their trip, he could say, let's rock and roll. Another way of saying, let's get started, let's start our journey. So in the comments or message me an example of how you use let's rock and roll in a sentence. My shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll. Kink out, kick the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. The next phrase that we are going to be looking at is rolling stone. Now, when first hearing this phrase, you may be thinking about a popular magazine or band, and that could very well be the case that it's mentioning here, but you can also refer or call someone a rolling stone. When you call someone a rolling stone, you are claiming that they are a person who moves often or does not like to stay in one place at a time. This phrase was developed on the older saying, a rolling stone gathers no moss. And this is a great phrase to put in this song because it is encouraging the listener to not stay in one place, to keep rolling, keep moving, keep moving forward. Another example of this phrase in pop culture is in a very popular song written by The Temptations, and it goes a little something like this. Papa was a roller stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. In this song, Papa was a rolling stone, meaning Papa did not stay in one place for a very long time. Kick out, kick the drum, rolling on like a rolling stone. Sing song when I'm walking home, jump up to the top of the brown. Ding dong, call me on my phone, nice tea, and I'll get my ping pong. <laughs> this is day heavy. The next phrase that we will be looking at is the term heavy. Now, this is not the same heavy we would use if we were moving a sofa or a couch. The term heavy and how it's being used here is when you refer to something that is serious, sad, or the mood is not good. An example sentence we could use is to say, 2020 was a heavy year, meaning 2020 was not a good year. It was a sad year or a very 
intense or serious year. So a side note to further improve your English and sound like a native, if you are in a heavy situation, one phrase you can use to try to improve the mood is by saying, let's lighten the mood. The next phrase is like money. When I first heard this phrase being used in this song, I was reminded of the very popular idiom, like money in the bank, which means something is reliable or can be guaranteed. However, when you look at the context of this song, I realized that did not really make sense. So this led me to research another use of the term like money. So if you are saying that something is money or something is like money, you are simply saying something is cool, something is good. So for example, instead of saying BTS is so cool, you could simply say BTS is money or BTS is so money. And that would be a very true statement. The next phrase we will look at is I'm into that. So when you are saying that, you are not saying that you are inside something. Rather, you are saying that you are really interested in something or you really like this thing or you really like this activity or you are very active in this thing. So for example, if you are ARMY, or a BTS fan, then you would say, I am really into BTS. That means you really like them. But be very careful on how you use this word because you can also use this idiom to express romantic feelings towards someone. So be careful if you're saying this to a specific someone, such as maybe I would say, I'm really into RM or I'm really into Jin. Be careful because that could also express a romantic interest into someone. The next phrase we will look at is, I'm good to go. This phrase simply means that you are ready. You are prepared. Many times this means that you are ready to leave or you are prepared to leave or this thing is ready to go. It is ready to be used. So for example, if your dishwasher was broken and the repairman fixes it, he could tell you he is done by saying, this is good to go, it's good to go. Or if you just finished getting dressed to go to a party and you are ready to leave, then you could tell your friends, I'm good to go. One more phrase that we will discuss is the term glow up. Now in the context of this song, it could be referring to how a diamond glows when light hits it. But there's another popular use of the term glow up. Nowadays, when someone glows up, that means that they have improved, that they have become better. Most of the time this refers to how you look physically, but a lot of the times it could also mean how your mental state has improved. So for example, if Jenny was on a diet and she starts working out and at the end of the summer, she could say that I had a glow up or I blew up.
Okay, guys, so I think that will wrap up our lesson for today. I do apologize for not getting to the rest of the songs. There are some honorable mentions that I will put around here. So be sure to check them out. And if you would like another video, feel free to comment, message me, and let me know. And I will be happy to make another lesson just like this. So this has been Teacher Daisha. I will see you next time. 